In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how you can buy Solana or USDC and fund your Solana Phantom wallet. I imagine you've just got it set up, so let's show you the first and easiest way. In the wallet itself, just click on buy and then Solana. This is your account here. You can put an amount like $100, $500, etc. or something smaller like $50. Click next and you've got two options, MoonPay and Coinbase Pay. Let's try MoonPay. As we can see, we've got everything here. We can select from euros, Australian dollars, pounds, US dollars, Japanese yen, and a host of other government fiat currencies. I'll go with euros, and then we have our quote. This will give us approximately 2.1 sol. Click continue and add your email. This is my email, so don't spam me. Click continue, and we have to add a verification code. Remember to check all folders, including your spam, if you can't see it in your inbox. Agree to the terms. You can take this one if you want to, but we won't. We'll just click continue. And now we add a payment method. Bank card, add our name, our date of birth. That's my real name, but not my real date of birth. As well as our nationality, then click continue. And then we have to add a billing address. Add our address, add everything in there and click continue. That is not my address, by the way. And then we add our card number. This is not a real card number, nor is this a correct card billing address but yours would be correct, of course. Then we get something like this. Our verification is complete. And then we can just acknowledge the terms and conditions, pay the 50 euros, make sure we're doing this ourselves for our own wallet and that no scammer is trying to take your money. Then confirm order. I have to do something with my bank. Accept it in the app. Now we should be able to continue. And as MoonPay says, this normally takes between a few minutes and a few hours. A few moments later. Well, for me, this only took three minutes. And we can see we have $54.65 in USD value. With Phantom, we cannot change it to another fiat currency. So we can't make this say euros or Australian dollars or anything else. It's just USD. However, if you want to, you can go to coingecko.com. You can update up the top here from USD to your local currency by searching or selecting. Then we can find Solana, scrolling down. And over here, we can put in how much Solana we bought. We got 2.11. So you can use a small amount if you lose this method. Going back into Phantom, if we want to buy more, we can click on buy, of course, select Solana or USD coin. Or we can just do a swap down here from Solana to USD coin. We'll cover this in other videos, but my recommendation is to always deposit some Solana first because you need it for transaction fees. I'll quickly show you that. Let's change one sol into USDC, review the order, and click swap. Close, go back to our main wallet, and we have 25 USDC. And USD coin, or USDC, this is digital United States dollars, put on the blockchain by a company called Circle. Now what I can do is go up to the hamburger menu, Click on plus and I can create a new wallet. We'll go over this more in other tutorials, but we'll create this wallet. Then we'll go back. We'll change to our main account and I'm going to click on the USDC and I'm going to send it into this wallet, all of it, next and send. It's sent so fast. You can send it that fast anywhere in the world. Now you see we have this USD coin, but if we click on the swap, and try to change some of the USDC into Solana, we will not be able to do it because we do not have any Solana token for gas. So always remember to fund your wallet with a little bit of Solana token first, even if it's just 0.05 sol, something really small. And that's how you can buy your first crypto and add it to your own phantom wallet with MoonPay. In the next tutorial video, I'll show you how to use a more advanced exchange, such as Coinbase and Binance. Remember to stay curious and go and watch that video now.